That doesn't even count the amount of money that we give in our sponsorships, our contribution, and our foundation. So there's significantly more money in this community because of First Niagara than just this Mentoring Matters effort, but that is a significant contribution. Um, specifically, we've helped 77 organizations, different organizations across upstate New York with this money over the last two years, and we intend to select some new recipients this year to help out even more organizations uh, this year and going into 2010. Uh, and those 77 organizations have reported back that they've helped in excess of 5,000 children because of the money that we have given to them. So, so we'll get up. Has anybody seen the Tiger Woods commercial? Yeah. Where he shows up at the cash register and he puts, how are you going to pay for that? He says, check. Susan, Kevin, Kevin and Susan, come here, Susan, come here. Just get supported for two consecutive years with the Mentoring Matters grants, uh, Big Brothers and Big Sisters. And we're, we're honored today to have uh, several representatives from Big Brothers Big Sisters here with us today, primarily Natasha Pernicka, uh, who is the Executive Director. Uh, thank you, Natasha, for all your support and help. Thank you. That support of the bank. <laughs> so in 2007, when I first got involved, I heard a story of a big brother and a big sister, or big, big, big brother and a little brother uh, that was very compelling and, uh, and very touching that uh, made all this effort really come, you know, make it personal when you bring it down to the impact that somebody can have on a child's life. And with that being said, I'd like to introduce them. Um, we'll call them Big Mike and Little John and Big Brothers. There we are. Good morning, everyone. My name is uh, Mike Sadowski, and I've been a big brother for over 10 years. Right now, my big brother to John, who just turned 11, and we've been matched for almost four years. Prior to being matched with John, I was a big brother to Andy, who's now 22 and graduated from the program. Today, on behalf of John and myself, I'd like to thank First Niagara for its generous support to Big Brothers Big Sisters over the past few years, and for its continuing support through its Mentoring Matters program. I'm a volunteer. I'm married with two adult children and a 30-plus year career with the federal government. But despite the demands of work and family and my time, I'm committed to what Big Brothers Big Sisters stands for, which is helping these kids reach their potential. The time I spend with John is a very rewarding experience. He's a great kid, and I take pride in being his big brother, and I let him know it. My personal approach to mentoring has always been to have fun and to provide as much encouragement as possible and when they're not looking, to segue into some words of wisdom. Probably one of the things we do most is talk. I told John that when I was looking to be matched, I asked Big Brothers Big Sisters to find me a little brother who likes to talk, and that's just what I got. <laughs> so whether it's advice about dealing with problems at school or with an annoying sister or sisters, we try to talk it out. And of course, uh, there's always that subtle nudging to do well in school and to continue on the college. But I do put my money where my mouth is, and I do reward John for any high marks on his report cards, as well as A's and 100's on his test, which I prominently display in my office. Now, John and I usually see each other uh, every Saturday, and as an active 11-year-old, he keeps me young. You name it, and we've probably done it. Now, to give you an idea, uh, this past weekend, we started our day in Saratoga, uh, tossing a ball around the Congress Park. We moved on to laser tag, uh, which is one of John's favorite activities. Uh, then to ping pong and a swim in the afternoon. And it only took two of leaves the next morning to get me going. <laughs> and like true brothers, there's a, a certain degree of sibling rivalry. Now I say Rays, he says Yankees. I say Bills, he says Giants. But, <laughs> please hold your applause. 
But to show that, uh, show John there are no hard feelings about our different allegiances, I uh, took him to Giants training camp earlier this, this month. And while watching the team, I was trying to explain uh, what they were doing as they broke up into different groups and started to practice. Well, I guess my explanation wasn't quite clear uh, when I, John turned to me and asked why the players were discriminating against each other. And it took me a moment, but I quickly realized I needed to clarify the difference between discriminate and scrimmage. <laughs> so, let me leave you with an anecdote, and for both of us, say again, First Niagara, thank you very much. Anything you add? This is the only time I can keep it quiet. <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. Good job, John. So that's fantastic, and I say Cowboys and Yankees, so <laughs> I've tried for three years to get him to switch allegiance. He's a very determined young man. So, uh, so I ask uh, two things. One is go out into your communities, be proud of what we do at First Niagara, uh, primarily around our Mentoring Matters effort. Reach out to not-for-profit organizations that you're involved with that provide mentoring services to children. Ask them to go on our website, www.fnfg.com. They can apply right online. The deadline is September 25th. All applications need to be in by the 25th, and we'll review them all, and we'll make our um, dollar allocations shortly after that, and we'll have another announcement announcing the winners, and we'll hear for some of the winners of the Mentoring Matters effort. So thank you, and be proud.